Dr. Jaffe, um, hydroxycobalamin has been seen to scavenge nitric oxide. Is this a problem? And in patients with genetic SNPs, predisposing them to nitric oxide deficiency, would then hydroxycobalamin be dangerous for them? That's a very astute, interesting question. The answer is hydroxycobalamin helps, not harms. It turns out when nitric oxide gets free, it should be quenched. Nitric oxide should form and be used locally within the cell as needed. So if it gets free, hydroxocobalamin helps prevent harm because nitric oxide is a very important intermediary molecule. But if it gets free, it can be a free radical and a harm, an oxidative harm. I recommend hydroxocobalamin as nature's ascorbate, sorry, as nature's B12. Of course, it's helped by ascorbate, but nature's B12 is hydroxocobalamin, and it balances out biology. So if you look at nitric oxide-dependent enzymes, in the presence of hydroxocobalamin, they're enhanced. Most of the studies, in fact, all of the studies I can remember, that point to a problem used pharmacologic amounts of hydroxocobalamin in rodents. Very little has been done in people. And while it's important to study mice and rats and rabbits, their metabolism may be different. Think of your dog or your cat. They have different metabolism than people. So I am confident more today than yesterday that hydroxocobalamin is nature's form of B12, and it works synergistically with other B complex, synergistically with other uh, functional metabolic modulators, including antioxidants and minerals like magnesium and choline citrate, and does not harm the nitric oxide important pathways, because this has been studied. We, we know uh, quite a bit about hydroxocobalamin, fortunately, and how safe and effective it has been. So rest assured, it's the right form, and it goes to the right places in the right ways and doesn't harm. Unless you take huge amounts. I mean, 50 or more milligrams a day has been used, which shows how safe this can be. And yes, at that level, I'm, uh, it's pharmacology at that level. So I do want to assure people that hydroxocobalamin is nature's form, is the safer form, is the biological modulator that helps and doesn't harm. 